Well, good morning, children. I hope you are all well on this good Friday morning. I thought, as the adults have been having lots of thoughts for the day, I thought we'd have one uh, on uh, this special day, Good Friday, uh, when we think about the death of Jesus. Um, now, I want us to think uh, for a few minutes about, uh, about Jesus' death uh, and uh, things to do with uh, clothes about his death. Now, the adults will be looking at clothes uh, in their uh, service today, but I thought we'd look at two pieces of clothing, okay, linked to Jesus' death. Uh, but first of all, uh, have a think. Uh, have you ever uh, uh, been mocked or laughed at for saying something or doing something? Can you remember how that felt? Think, think back to when it happened, uh, or think, if you haven't, uh, think about how it might feel being laughed at or, or mocked. Uh, and think about that. Um, I I was uh, once laughed at and mocked at school when I was at school because I wore glasses. And I remember what that felt. Well, that's nothing to what Jesus went through. Jesus went through so much more mocking and laughing than we ever did. Let's look at the Bible passage today. So um, we're looking at John chapter, tw chapter 19. And I'm just going to take... Uh, different parts out of it okay so listen carefully to the first part of uh, John chapter 90 then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head they put on him a purple robe and went up to him and again and again saying hail king of the Jews and they slapped him in the face so the first piece of clothing we're thinking about is a purple robe. Okay, now purple is a very special colour. Purple was a sign of royalty, of kingship. So actually, it was a very appropriate colour for Jesus because he's king, isn't he? But what the soldiers were actually doing was they were mocking him because they didn't believe he was king. And they were laughing at him. And Jesus just stood there and let them laugh at him and mock him and hurt him. And that um, is such a sad thing for Jesus to go through, isn't it? And you imagine how Jesus felt being, um, uh, being hit and spat at, uh, being laughed at and mocked, uh, all for who he really is, uh, because these people didn't believe him. So Jesus went through that for us. Jesus was mocked for us. Okay, because he loves us. Now, secondly, um, have you ever been ignored? Have you ever been ignored? Have a think about what that might have felt like. How did it feel when someone ignored you? Well, I remember back at school when I used to, if we fell out with uh, our friends, then, uh, then we'd ignore each other. And I remember uh, being ignored by, by some of my friends. And it just felt horrible. It wasn't really, really not nice. Um, so imagine, remember how that felt, or imagine how it might be felt, uh, how it might feel like to be ignored. And then think about Jesus, and He went through so much more for us. He was ignored, uh, but um, but the, when we're ignored, it's nothing compared to how how Jesus was ignored and where He was ignored. So let's look at the next part of the Bible. Okay, so this is the soldiers. Jesus is now on the cross uh, and uh, we're looking at the soldiers. When the soldiers crucified Jesus, they took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them, with the undergarment remaining. This garment was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. Okay, so in those days they might have long, worn sort of long uh, robes like sheets. I've got this one here to represent that. Okay. But Jesus was ignored. He was there dying and being crucified on the cross. And all the soldiers cared about were his clothes. Wanting his clothes. They didn't care about him. He, he was just left to die. He was ignored on the cross. Imagine how that must have felt like. Watching the soldiers fighting over his clothes and just having to uh, having to hang there on that cross, um, that must have felt awful uh, and just uh, so horrible. Um, so whatever we've been through, Jesus has been through so much more for us 
he's been mocked, he's been ignored, and thirdly, uh, he was uh, he was shamed. Okay, so let me let me read the next part um, of the passage today. Uh, it comes just after what I've just read. Let's not tear it, they said to one another. Let's decide by lot who will get it. This happened that the scripture um, might be fulfilled. That said, they divide, divided my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. So when the soldiers were fighting over Jesus' clothes, these were all of Jesus' clothes. Jesus had none left to wear himself. So when he was hanging on the cross, he was hanging in shame. He was hanging there for everyone to stare at, everyone to look at. Imagine how that must have felt. Can you imagine being there uh, uh, and seeing what Jesus was going through? And he went through all that. He was mocked, he was ignored, he was shamed. All for us, for you and for me. He went through all that hurt and pain for you and for me. Why? Because he loves us. He loves us so much that he went to that cross and he was mocked and ignored and shamed. All so that we can be friends with God. Isn't that amazing? And I want us to really remember that this morning. What Jesus went through for us because he loves us. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves us me so let's thank jesus for what he went through for us and we remember today uh, him dying on the cross to save us from sin so we can be friends with god let's thank him for what he went through for us okay so let's pray uh, so shall we do our prayer drill and uh, we go one two three dear god thank you so much that you sent jesus to save us uh, from all the wrong things that we do uh, thank you uh, for what Jesus went through on the cross, that he went through all that suffering, uh, mocking the um, people, ignoring him and being shamed. Thank you that he did that because he loves us so much. Help us to be thankful for Jesus today. Amen. I hope you all have a really good, good Friday uh, and you can remember this weekend that amazing um, um amazing wonderful things that Jesus has done for us uh, the, the, the fact that he died on the cross for us okay and we can be so thankful and so happy okay take care I'll see you soon